everyone, welcome back to another video. It's Misty with Kids to Cradles Nursery and welcome back my cradle crew. Today I have little baby Emma and this is actually a porcelain baby that my aunt made for me a long, long time ago. We're talking like, I don't know, 30 years ago. <laughs> I'm showing my age. But my aunt knew I loved babies and she got into making porcelain dolls as a little hobby. So I guess I'm not the only doll maker in the family if I think about it. It was very short lived. I think she made a total of only three dolls, I wanna say. And um, she only did it for about a year. She didn't make very many of them, but this one is super sweet. She knew I loved her dolls and I was just ooing and aahing over them and I wanted a little baby. This baby is a newborn size baby that she made for me. Um, and she had hand sewn the most precious outfit for her it was like a one piece uh romper and it had built-in footies in the bottom of the romper um she did not have gloves or mittens on her hands her hands were exposed and she had a little bonnet and it was the same color like blue green almost teal colored outfit uh it had all these colors in it with little rosebuds and stuff on it it was really beautiful i still have it but the elastic was shot in it due to age so I did go on eBay and order this like vintage-esque, <laughs> if that's a word, uh, outfit for her. It was a little beautifully knitted outfit and it's really hard to find stuff that has the little built-in feet. Uh, but this did have a pair of socks. So it was really cute with little ribbons that run through, almost like little booties and has a little bow that ties around her ankles, so I was able to get them nice and tight on there. So sweet, love this outfit, it actually fits her perfect. She has been really difficult to find clothes that fit her, so um, this was newborn size and it was perfect for her. So I have had problems in the past trying to find outfits for her. Um, this is such a sweet little outfit. It buttons up in the back. It has this little removable bib, but I really like it. It almost feels like a little doily from back in the past. If y'all remember your grandma's or great, great grandma's house. And it has like little embroidered flowers on it, a little stork. And it says, welcome baby, which I just think is so super adorable. Matching little pom-pom hat, so pretty. She does have hair and lots of it. Uh, she's absolutely beautiful. The only thing was is I put a onesie on because you know how I feel about my babies and not onesie having onesies on to protect their body. So I do have a little pink onesie on underneath if you can see that. And I do have these little mittens on just to protect her hands. But I'm going to show you guys what her little hands look like. So she has beautiful little hands. Sweet little fingernails. She's so adorable. She has these little fists that I absolutely love. So, so far I have not broke her, but people have tried to pick her up and her hands would like clink together when they would pick her up because she is heavy. Um, and she's almost lost this finger, very close to losing this finger right here. So that's why I keep the little mitts on her. And she is actually kind of like a cuddle baby in the reborn world. She is actually filled with glass beads or bean, bean bags. They feel larger. They feel almost like a, she feels like a beanie baby. Her whole body is filled with beans, like bean bag, whatever you want to call it, beads. She's filled with beads, not beans. I hope not. God, I hope not beans, <laughs> but I'm just kidding. I can feel it. It feels like glass beads of some sort but it's in her body, it's in all of her limbs. So she's squishy, she's soft, she's super heavy and super flexible and poseable. Um, she is heavy, I can't even pick her up with one hand, but I wanna show you the back of her little outfit. Oh, so cute, look at how cute this is. It buttons down the back, super sweet little outfit. Come here, girlfriend. Oh, her head is super floppy, so you have to be careful. Her head does go back. Like, she's got a very, let's see, floppy head. <laughs> Sorry, baby. So you do usually have to hold her head. She did make her head poseable and very floppy. So 
This baby is very sweet. Her arms do move, they're jointed, and so are her legs. She has jointed legs, but these are so heavy and so floppy. She actually feels so heavy and floppy. She reminds me a little bit of um, almost like a silicone baby because she's so floppy and she's so poseable, so sweet. I absolutely adore her. I've had her put away for a while just to keep her protected, but I did wanna share her on my channel. I do have a plan for my uh, porcelain dolls for our spare room that we will have eventually, and I want my hubby to um, make them a little rocking chair for Emily and a little, um, cradle for Emma. But so this baby is very poseable as you can see. So I just wanted to show you all the different like little poses and stuff. I'm holding my camera so I can't show how beautiful and flexible she is. Um, she's actually vintage now I guess you could say. This little baby was made goodness forever ago like I'm gonna say maybe even 30 years ago. <laughs> this baby is uh, an older girl. She was made a while ago. Like I'm trying to think back how old I was. I think she's about 30 years old now. So um, this baby's actually considered vintage. So I think the little vintage outfit suits her. This is her blanket that was made for her. My mom actually made this. So um, she made this for me when I got her and wanted to know what colors I wanted. Like I picked out the yarn and everything. And so this blanket goes with her. This is what she's been wrapped in all this time. Wrapped away, cuddled away. So sweet. She's so beautiful. I don't know. I think I'm going to have to maybe find some like vintage wicker cradle for her. Maybe I'll find something vintagey out there on eBay. Um, maybe I'll find something vintage for these little baby girls, but I love her. I cannot wait to be able to display her and her sisters. We've got another one that my aunt is trying to repair and, um, I need to do some photos of this baby and send them to my aunt so she knows I'm still loving on her. My aunt calls her sleepy baby. Uh, she actually made her to look a lot like her youngest daughter when she was little. And um, she did name her Julie or was calling her Julie, but she knows I changed the name and then she just refers to her as sleepy baby. So that is her nickname, little sleepy baby. So just thought I would share and when I do get these babies set up when I have a room that I can like lock up when people come over if I can like lock the door so I don't have to worry about people going in there and picking them up then I will show you guys their little setup in the future. So that is going to be it for this little video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you love this sweet little baby Emma. You will see Emma and Emily in future videos eventually when I get everything all worked out for them and how they're going to be displayed. But I will see you guys on the next video. You guys take care of yourselves. Take care of all those beautiful babies, each other, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.